The concept of Dark Horse in Dora has always been a big thing, and I think there's a lot behind it, a lot more than what people think. It's some team coming out of nowhere. People don't expect them to be there. It's someone that will upset the whole tournament and that will make everyone go like, wow, these guys did something spectacular. For the team that's going as a dark horse, it's an advantage, for sure. The thing is, nobody's looking at you. <laughs> Even though you're, you're the one that has a really good idea how to beat this tournament. They just enjoy game after game, whereas other teams, they're like thinking about all the pressure, or all what's at stake. Just如果被大家都看好的情况下，其实压力是挺大的。啊，如果有一场表现不好，或者说最后的成绩不好，就是整个心态不一样嘛，会比较容易崩溃吧，我觉得。Maybe OG felt the pressure. That's why we lost against TNC. We had played TNC before, many times, and there was no doubt in our mind and in their minds also that we were the better team. But they have this fire going for them. It's scary. It's, it's really scary to play these teams because they have nothing to lose. You underestimate a team, you don't play your best just because you feel it's going to be, um, quote unquote, you know, a free win. But that free win is a free loss. And that's what happens. I think the Hema team's is to have a unique version of I think DC is what they were doing the most at TI. It was really focusing on split pushing. I could count five teams or even 10 teams that would be ahead of DC, but they, they go to the Grand Finals. Misery, congratulations. How does it feel to take down the TI5 champs? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that was a crazy ass game. I always learn a lot watching these dark horses. Usually people just go to them and like, how did you make that happen? How are you able to do that up against them? And they always answer like, we don't know. And then they say something, but they actually know. So, yeah, I don't know. And what they say right after the we don't know is usually the key to their, the success they just had. We kind of pulled uh, some tricks in the draft that made them believe that a core hero was a core, when in fact it was a support all along. DC went on like one of those crazy OG loser bracket win streaks. Once a team gets in the booth and they get used to the feeling of winning, it's kind of hard to solve them. These kind of teams, they have a flow going on. It's uh, something very unique and they just roll throughout the tournament. Like CDC, this is for me, I think it's the biggest one in the TI series. I think it's the biggest one in the TI series. 因为他们是从外卡赛杀进来的一支亚军队伍，并且这支队伍的五个人全是第一次打 TI。They struggled in the wild cards. They did. They they almost didn't make it. We did play them even uh, one month before TI, and you know we, we we just beat the crap out of them. And then one month later, they go to the international and they beat the crap out of everyone else. They just caught every team off guard. And I, I think that's just like a perfect definition of what a dark horse is. I think every uh, year there's been an underdog that has impressed me. One of the really hardworking teams from the open qualifiers just seems to surprise everyone. So <laughs> I don't know what team that'll be. Dark horses just play a different kind of uh, Dota too. They teach you a lesson. They teach you two lessons. It's very inspiring. It's like a Cinderella story. And when you get those teams starting to beat ours, we showed everyone in the world that everyone can do it.